Hi everyone, it's great to be with you again. And Lawrence is here too. Hi. Yes, okay. And he's reminded me we need to start our assembly in the right way. So, in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Now Lawrence and I have been talking about perseverance and we've been talking about all the assemblies that we've done and I've done um, over the last few weeks and we've been talking about how you know we've learnt about the wise men and how hard it was for them to keep going to keep persevering when they set off they didn't know where they were going and equally didn't know what they would find when they got to where they were going wherever that might be and we you know the fact that they had to travel at night and they had to go through the desert and carry everything with them and how hard that must have been and how important it must have been that they were together and could encourage each other and we talked a bit too about haven't we about how important it is for our friends and our family and our teachers and how they help us to keep going when we're finding things tough when it's hard to learn something new and you're thinking I'll never do this and then you have people saying keep going keep having a go think about doing it differently but you'll get there in the end we've talked about that haven't we and we've also talked about how if we look up sometimes when we look around us and we see the beauty of the nature around us then sometimes that encourages us too and there's a famous king in Scotland who was encouraged to persevere when he thought he would never ever get to where he wanted to be and that's Robert the Bruce and he was hiding from the English in a cave and he watched a spider weaving or, or, or spinning its web and it kept breaking and he kept having to start again and as he watched he realised that actually that's the point he had to keep going and he had to try again and there's another story that that reminded me about which is about the lady who lost a coin and turned her house upside down to find it who didn't give up who didn't say oh it doesn't matter but rather uh, worked really hard and I thought we could hear that story um, from the book of Bible stories that I've got. It, will that be a good idea, do you think? Yeah, okay. So let's find that book. Oh, it's a really big book. Poor old, poor old. Oh, there we are. Can you see? Oh, it's really hard for poor old Lawrence. Anyway, he's going to sit here and he's going to listen as I read it. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a woman. A woman who worked really hard. She worked so hard, in fact, that she managed to save ten days' pay. And she took it away in the safest place in her house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in all. She knew them all by sight. The shiny ones and the dull ones. The thick ones and the thin ones. The smooth ones and the dented ones. And one day she took them out to count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But she never got to ten because the last coin was missing. The woman looked again inside the little box where she kept the coins. It's a tiny silver one, she said. It's gone. Now what do you think she did? Did she say to herself, I've nine coins left, so who cares if one is lost? Of course not. She wanted that last coin as much as the rest, so she lit a lamp and she started to look. She looked under the table and under the bed and under the chairs. She looked under the pots and the pans. She reached into crevices and cracks and nooks. She looked everywhere and finally she found it, nestling in a dark corner. And the woman shouted, Hooray! 
Then she picked up the coin and danced around the room. Come to my house, she cried to her neighbours. Come to my house, she said to her friends. My coin was lost and now it's found. I'm so happy. Let's have a party. And that's the point, isn't it? When we carry on, when we keep going, when we keep searching, when we keep trying and trying, we will get to where we need to be. It may not be very fast and it may take weeks and weeks and sometimes even years, but we get there in the end. But there's another part of this story too, which is it kind of tells us a bit about Jesus and a bit about the fact that Jesus keeps looking for us. That a bit like the woman who lost that coin, he doesn't sit there going, oh well, doesn't matter. Susan isn't interested, so I don't really mind. No. Actually, what Jesus does is he keeps looking. He keeps looking for Susan and you and, and everyone and keeps saying, I'll keep looking. I'll keep waiting and when I find you and when you find me we'll have a party together and that's really amazing. So not only do we need to persevere and keep asking questions and keep looking and tr keep trying to understand and make sense of things for ourselves but Jesus too is constantly looking for us and waiting for us and nudging us and reminding us of just how much he loves us. Isn't that amazing? So I'm going to listen to a song. One more step along the world I go. Which talks a bit about the fact that we constantly ask questions and constantly look for Jesus and Jesus is constantly looking for us. And as you listen to the words and as you watch the different pictures, think about all those things that we just need to keep going, taking one step at a time. enjoyed that song. Lawrence certainly did and he quite liked the masks but he's very relieved he doesn't have to wear his at the moment. 
So, I thought we would have a prayer, then we'll say the Lord's Prayer, and then we'll have a blessing. Lord God, you are always with me. You are with me in the day and in the night. You are with me when I'm happy and when I'm sad. You are with me when I'm healthy and when I am ill. You are with me when I am peaceful and when I am worried. Help me to remember that you love me and are with me in everything I do. Amen. So let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And we're going to, I'm going to say a blessing. It's a blessing that comes from the north of this country. It's called a Celtic blessing. And it's a blessing that reminds us of God's presence with us, particularly as we break up to for half term. And as we continue to take one step at a time as we battle with the coronavirus. Circle me, Lord, keep protection near and danger afar. Circle me, Lord, keep hope within and keep doubt without. Circle me, Lord, keep light near and darkness afar. Circle me, Lord. Keep peace within. Keep evil out. Amen. So God bless. Enjoy half term. And don't forget there are two very special days in half term. One to do with eating. And the other one to do with thinking about those things in our lives that we want to change a bit. If you're not sure what they are. You ask your mum and dad, or your teachers, see if they can work it out. Bye for now. <laughs>